now it's a matter of pride and a moment of pride that I am going to request on behalf of all of you to not only to our president, but the architect, one of the architect of modern India, Shri Pranam Mukherjee ji, to address all of us. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Sri Kapil Sibal, Minister of Communication and Information Technology. Sri K. Rahman Khan, Minister of Minority Affairs. Dr. Ajit Qureshi, Governor of Uttarakhand. Sri Kwari Muhammad Usman, President, Jamia Tulema Yind. Sri Muhammad A. Madani, Chairman. Sekirul Hind Education Charitable Trust, Sri N. K. Singh, Founder President, Universal Association of Spiritual Awareness, Distinguished Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen. Indeed, it is a very happy occasion for me to be present here for the release of a stamp dedicated on Silk Letter Movement. As you all know, at the <coughs> stroke of midnight on 14th, 15th August 1947 was the culmination of almost 200 years of resistance, intense political activity, including armed struggle, civil disobedience, non-cooperation, boycott of foreign goods, fasts, marches and various types of movements. As we look back at the epic saga of this trouble, we are struck by the long drawn out and valiant fight put up by people from almost all walks of life without any thought towards their individual safety, security or comfort. It was a widespread movement of multifaceted dimensions. In this movement, people of various persuasions following different ideologies presented a multi-pronged resistance to foreign rule. The unique struggle was marked by a variety of approaches adopted by the people to rid the nation of the foreign domination and colonial rule. People who participated in the struggle belong to various schools of thought and varied outlook, despite differences in their approaches and the methods of resistance to the foreign rule. They were all united in their desire to secure liberation for their motherland from the yoke of colonial rule. The Silk Letter Movement was one such effort from a group of revolutionaries. This movement was a plan to mobilize the support of the governments of Afghanistan and Turkey in organizing a revolt within India to overthrow the British rule. Ubaidullah Shindi and Maulana Muhammad Hassan were two very important veteran leaders of this movement. In August 1916, some letters written on silk fell into the British hands. It is believed that the silk letters confiscated by the British government contain details of the provisional government of Ajad Hind and its plan and a comprehensive scheme of forming an army and getting the support of the Turkish government. Sri Kapil Shibal, in his observations, had pointed out a brief history of this government. The sacrifices of individuals and groups such as those associated with the Silk Letter Movement constitute a glorious chapter of India's history of freedom struggle and need to be appreciated, acknowledged and told and retold. The stories of struggle need to be repeated, told and retold to the younger generation born in a free India 
and enjoying the fruits of liberty. I am happy that the Department of Posts has done its bit in this regard. Over the years, it has issued postage stamps to acknowledge the contribution of various groups and movements which in their own way contributed to the overall efforts for the liberation of the country. The first regular Indian postage stamps were introduced in October 1854 during the tenure of Governor General Lord Dalhousie. These were red lithographed stamps of one anna and blue lithographed stamps of half an anna bearing the portrait of Queen Victoria. This symbolism of British monarchy came to an end with the India gaining independence on 15th August 1947. It was a proud moment when the greeting Joy Hind figured on the first three stamps issued by Free India. I am told since then <coughs> the department has issued more than 3,000 stamps. Many of them are on great personalities and events which had contributed to our freedom struggle. I compliment Sri Kapil Shibal for his endeavor to dedicate stamps on the Silk Letter movement as it truly reflects the multicultural, multifaceted dimension of India's freedom struggle. I join you all in paying tribute to the efforts and contributions of this great movement. Jai Hind. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.